Hi everyone, Adam Zeiss here for CrackBerry.com. We're going to take a look at using sound profiles on your BlackBerry smartphone. Sound profiles is basically just a fancy name for the um, sound or alert settings for your BlackBerry. We're using the default theme here on my 9700. So we go ahead and jump into the profiles icon. You can see we have a couple different options. We have normal, loud, vibrate only, silent, phone calls only, and all alerts off. These are the profiles that we have already that are default on the device. Normal is the basic profile for the, the device that you set all your sounds for and pretty much everything else works off of that. The loud profile pulls from the normal profile settings and it will just increase the volume and obviously make everything louder. Vibrate only will turn all your alerts to vibrate and you can set the settings for that to have different vibrate lengths and strengths for that. Silent makes everything quiet on the phone. Phone calls only will kill everything except for the uh, ringtone for your phone. We have all alerts off, which shuts down everything. And then we have a couple options down the bottom here. We have set ringtones and alerts, set contact alerts, and edit profiles. So we can see we have our normal profile selected. So if we scroll down to set ringtones alerts, this is going to allow us to edit that selected profile. Here we have all the options for um, every app on the phone that has an alert available. The first one here is the phone. You can choose the ringtone. You can choose any ringtone that you have on your memory card or the device or any of the pre-installed ringtones. If you highlight the tone, you can hear a quick preview of it. And you can choose the ringtone for that. And here we have the volume. You have options from 1 to 10, so this will change the, uh, the loudness, 1 being the quiet, 10 being the loudest. And we have the option for silent, too, if you don't want to have any um, audible sound for that. Play sound, we have the option for always out of holster or in holster. In holster means that anytime the device is holstered in uh, the standard BlackBerry holster, anything that has um, the standby magnet in it, it's going to affect the holster setting. So if you want a different set of sounds, if you want louder sounds when your device is in the holster or you only want it to vibrate, you can choose the in holster options. And then you can do the opposite for out of holster or always will play the same settings for um, when it's holstered or not. And then we have the LED option. You can choose to have the LED on or off. Then we have uh, vibration. We can choose on, off, or custom. You can leave this on, then it'll vibrate with the ringtone, or you can choose custom. This is good for when you set up your vibrate-only profile. You can have different lengths and counts to the vibration, so you can know just from the vibrate um, which alert is coming in. We have the options for short, medium, and long, and then the count. There's 1, 2, 3, 5, and 10. And then we have vibrate always. We have in holster and out of holster, which is the same as the setting above. Vibrate with ringtone. Unlike the older OS versions, you can have the ringtone and the vibration together, so you can set that to on or off. And then we have the try it button, so that'll allow you to test out your settings, so you can test the vibrate and the ringtone. Next, we jump into our messages. This is going to show any email addresses that you have installed on the device, as well as SMS, MMS. These all work essentially the same way. Um, the only difference down the bottom here is a notify me during calls option, so you can set this to yes or no if you want to be notified while you're actually on the phone. Um, everything else is the same here. The volume. And there's also a count option in here, so you can have the, if you have a short alert tone, you can have it set to go off two or three times as opposed to just one, which is very cool. And then down here we have instant messages. This is where your BlackBerry Messenger settings will lie, um, as well as any installed AIM, uh, the BlackBerry IM clients. BlackBerry Messenger alert, this is an alert if you have set for somebody when they come back from being busy. Then we have a separate setting for groups and new message, which is just like the SMS same deal there, and then the other IM clients. So any IM clients you have installed are going to fall under there. And we have reminders, we have our calendar and follow-up flags. We can see everything's the same. And then finally we have our other section. I have BerryBuzz installed, so it's going to show reminders for all my applications. But any other applications you have that can have an alert set will fall in here. We have Facebook, Gmail, um, TweetGenius, so any of the Twitter clients or anything will fall into the other there. So if we jump back into the profiles, we can scroll down, we see the next option here, we have a set contact alerts. So you can set individual alerts for your contacts. So we jump over Kevin there. I can have a separate ringtone for Kevin. And we can choose to have the options based off our active profile, so, or we can have it automatically um, play a tune. So if I want to have Kevin's ringtone go off, no matter what profile I'm in, I can set this to a different volume. And then instead of basing the options off of the active profile, it'll automatically default. To these settings all the time. You can do the same thing for messages. So if I want to have an audible tone, no matter if I'm in vibrate or phone calls only, when Kevin sends an email, I can set that in here or I can choose to base it off of the active profile. And the last thing we have is the edit profiles. This is like the older versions of the uh, profile screen, so you can actually edit all the profiles 
from one spot. So we can choose, say, our loud profile, hit the menu key and edit, and that'll bring us into the profile. You can see the name is up top. And any option that we go into, you can see here they're based off of the normal profile. This is what the normal setting is. Um, so you would be able to change that if you want to have it different from the normal setting. Otherwise, this is just going to crank the volume up being the loud profile and base everything off of the normal settings. And then up top here we have add custom profile. So if you wanted to create, say, a bed mode profile for when you're in bedside mode um, and just have SMS alerts or certain emails go off, you can create your own custom profile in here and tweak all the settings the same way. So that's really all there is to it. Those are all the uh, options for the sound profiles. And the older versions are a little bit different, but we can run through the BlackBerry 101 on CrackBerry under the BlackBerry help to get a better look at that. But that's about it. That is using BlackBerry profiles on your BlackBerry smartphone.